Hello everybody, today I'm going to be drawing on black paper. Usually I draw on white paper, so I thought I'd change it up a bit today. And I don't really want to add any color to this. So the only other thing I'll be able to use is a white colored pencil. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's just get right into the video. So here's the paper I'm going to be using. And it took a while for me to decide, but I think I'm going to draw like moon and stars. And I want to make it look pretty like magical and dreamy. So let's just get started. So I do have two white colored pencils. One is from a cheaper pack called Studio Series, and then the second one is Prismacolor. And I wanted to try them out before I started, and obviously there is a very big difference. The Prismacolor is definitely a lot more vibrant, which I'm not really surprised by. But let me know which one to use more. And so I just started off with the sketch. And I know I said I was only going to be using the white color pencil, but I allowed myself a regular pencil just so that I could sketch without it being too apparent if I made a mistake. And I know you can't see it that well, but I went for a big moon in the center and then some clouds and stars surrounding it, just making it look very magical and like whimsical. And I can't use any colors, so I'm mainly relying on shading to get any kind of detail. And so I kind of started with the moon and I went around the edges and kind of faded it to the middle to make it look more 3D. And I also added little like holes and stuff because I know like the moon has those and also it adds some detail to it. And I tried my best to make them look like holes by making like the inside darker and the outside lighter. I'm not sure how good of a job I did, but I think it looks pretty good. And once I finished, I decided to add these like dangly bits. So I first drew the kind of diamonds and teardrop shapes. I was thinking of doing diamonds and stars, but there were already stars all around the moon. So I thought the teardrop would be a better choice. And then for the, I guess, strings connecting them, I made them all a little bit different. So I made one like normal one, one with dots, and then one that was like broken up into little bits. And I don't know, I really like them, so I'm glad I included them. So then it was time to move on to the rest of the sky. So I did a cloud kind of right behind the moon, and then I just worked on some stars, and I added little bits around them just to make them look a bit more interesting and more like magical, I guess. Yes, I'm aware that clouds and stars cannot be next to each other. But also, have you ever seen a moon with strings attached to it? Just go with it. And my pencil is dull already, so I just sharpened it up and, and then it was back to work. I did my third and final cloud on the bottom left. And kind of with coloring anything here, I just made kind of a gradient from the outside to the inside, making it lighter. And I think it gave a really cool effect, but with the last few details, it was done. Okay, so here is how the finished product turned out. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think it turned out so pretty and like dreamy. It's a little bit different from what I normally draw, but I'm really happy with it. And I love that it's just black and white and yeah, I put a lot of detail in it. And it was really cool to only be able to use one color and to kind of rely more on shading than colors to get more detail. And it was definitely different drawing on black paper when I'm used to drawing on white, but I had a lot of fun with it and I definitely wanna do it again. Maybe playing around with color next time, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!